hey guys uh welcome back to another video um this video is going to be a, a very quick one um and it is geared specifically to um those who are venturing off into becoming an own operator they are transferring from a company to own operator all right this is very important all right when you get your truck whether you're leased on to somebody or if you have your own authority you know it's good to be able to do a little handiwork all right and one you're gonna need uh, one of these fuel uh, container you will need plastic bags you will also need a fuel filter which i have it on the other side and you will need an extra container all right reason being um well you're gonna you're gonna be seeing it in the uh in a couple of seconds all right so i got some bad fuel you know this is this is actually not my truck but i uh I changed a fuel filter about um, two weeks ago and in about a week I realized that it's falling real fast and it is it's clogging up so I didn't understand why all right so I figured more or less I would check on it so I was just unloading and I checked on the fuel filter and the containers I show you that those will come in very handy. They are very important to have on your truck because you don't know when you will need to do a fuel filter change, all right? Because a filter can go bad at any given time. And for you to sit on the side of the road waiting for a mechanic, you know, burning up uh, hours, even a day or a night, just to wait on the mechanic to come in, you know, change a filter for you you can actually do that yourself all right i was not able to to um, record it while i was doing it because of uh yeah i didn't really have anything to hold the phone or even to put the phone to show you but i ended up changing it myself again all right and this time i cleaned out the base because it was clogged up as you could see and as you can see here it looks like oil when i was reading it it seemed as if it was oil residue well i wasn't sure but when i opened it and i checked it it, it, it was like uh like blended ginger that's the best way i could describe you know so obviously the filter that was in it was working you know pretty well because it prevented all of that from going into the engine you know so this is just a quick video you know just to you know put you on alert and to make you aware that changing the filter isn't just that that's not all that is required you have to sometime um, observe uh, the compartment where the fuel uh, where the filter is going and make sure that it's not clogged up if it is clogged up you have to um find a way how to flush it out before you put in the new filter in there because you will the, the problem will repeat, will repeat itself if that issue isn't taken care of all right so i hope this video uh was or pr provided some form of information to you guys uh catch you in the next video peace